Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's adventure leads us to the Temple of the Jade Serpent in Pandaria, where I'm going to be showing you how to break out of bounds and we're going to be exploring those surrounding dungeon. Now this glitch is very simple as uh, when you first walk through the dungeon portal, you're just going to want to make your way to the left over here. There's going to be a tree sticking out of the ground. What you're going to want to do is jump on top of the tree, get all the way to the top here. Oh, and we missed. Let's try it again. Get all the way to the top if we can. <laughs> I did this earlier. I promise this is the way out. You get up to the very top here. And then what you do is you just fly straight out over here and boom, you're already out of the dungeon. So it's that simple. I didn't make it look that simple. Hopefully you do. <laughs> and uh, what you do is you just fly straight out here to the ground and that's it. You're out of the dungeon. As you can see, we are officially out of the doors here. Now, as you can tell, the whole dungeon is rendered from the outside, which is really neat because obviously you fly over it in Pandaria. Now what's really cool is they do keep the meeting stone out here, which you can't interact with, interact with by no means, but there is two little birds sitting on top. Two little birds on my doorstep, right? Oh, I don't know, remind me of that song. Swinging, singing sweet songs. All right, we're gonna head out this way. Well, let's go take a look around. And they do keep a lot of this dungeon out here intact. There's a lot of the stuff is rendered, like I said, and modeled. That's a cool shot right there. Got the whole beginning of the dungeon. Let's take a screenshot. And let's go out this way. Now let's go explore the surrounding courtyard first. Now, unfortunately, because we are technically outside, but not outside. <laughs> And we're technically still in the dungeon. We can't mount up. Which really sucks. So we're going to have to just walk around. As we normally do. And we're going to go take a stroll through the beautiful park over here. Now I do love this dungeon. As I love Pandaria. I thought it was a really cool expansion. A lot of fun. It did make you really OP. Right, true hero? As we come over here to the courtyard, we can see a giant gong here in the distance. And I do love the music in the background as well. Now what's cool, from the outside, you actually can't see inside the dungeon. Well, maybe if we get over this way, they, you can, but let's go find out. I love the bridge from out here. This is really cool. We gotta go walk up the bridge. Excuse me. Getting something to drink here. I'm drinking a Coke Zero at the moment. Staying away from sugar. As much as I can. Went on a diet recently. Lost about 20 pounds altogether. So far, which is really good, but gotta get back on to doing it. I've had a couple cheat days, <laughs> I'll admit. But really proud to drop the weight. Well, we're gonna make our way up over these hills over here. And as you can see, the backside of the dungeon here is fully rendered. So there is no like sticking out or anything like that. That is another cool shot that we're gonna have to take a screenshot of. Ah, I love the ambience of this place. The atmosphere. It's so cool to be in Pandaria. Especially being out of bounds. Now let's go see what they keep all the way up here. As I'm assuming they do keep most of the area up here that you can get to. <laughs> the uh, the dragon riding or the serpent riding um, starter, f you know, start line is over there still. So that's funny to see the flag up in the distance. Let's go make our way up this bridge here. You do get some cool views from this dungeon. 
one of the more prettier out of bounds, that's for sure. Some of the out of bound dungeons are not as great to look at, <laughs> as most of it's just gray and untextured. But it is nice to get these dungeons where you're <clears throat> completely out of bounds in the continent that you're on. As this would be Pandaria, obviously. Now, if we come up this way, I'm sure we can get a way better shot of the whole view of the dungeon from the outside. Now, you can go to the very top here, and they do keep a lot of this rendered out here, which you're never supposed to see. But we do got a little hut up here. Wouldn't this be a cozy place to relax? Now, a lot of the water is rendered out in the distance here. And I can I believe that is the edge of the world, right over here. But let me zoom in here and give you a good shot of the whole dungeon here. I gotta take another screenshot. Man, this is screenshot worthy. All these places. This is cool. And what we're going to do is we're going to fly back down. We're going to go out this way. And let's go see if we can get up to the starter. Over here. I forgot we are currently in Vengeance. So we're not in Havoc at the moment, so we can't fell Rush. But that's okay. We can just keep gliding out of this way. And we did make it safely, so that's nice. As you can tell, a lot of the uh, models are missing. Normally, like, buildings and stuff would be loaded over here. But nothing's actually out here. Like I said before, this is definitely one of my favorite out-of-bounds dungeons I've ever been in. I think, if I'm correct, this is where you buy your um, Dragon Serpent Mount for the first time. I remember buying one over here when I was playing through the Miss Pandaria expansion. And I think normally water is supposed to be here as well, if I'm not mistaken. But, of course, it's unloaded because we're out of bounds. Yep, and you can actually see some lily pods sticking out of the ground here. Which is normally supposed to be in the water. Let's go make our way up the mountains over here and see what we can find. I'm curious to see how much they actually keep out here. Blizzard doesn't seem like they keep you outside too much with wanting to keep you outside of the inside the dungeon i should say too much <clears throat> excuse me because it looks like you're freely to explore out here i haven't hit any death wall or dc wall so that's a good sign i do love the shrine out here that's really neat i wonder if there's a miss of pandaria dungeon where the um oh that's cool Let's get a good shot of this going in here. Definitely want a vibe of a dungeon. This is the one to break out of. Now they do keep a lot of water landmass out there. I'm assuming you can't actually get out to that just because of the edge of the world here. So what I'm thinking is that that is a death wall. Or a stuck wall, as you could say. A lot of times what will happen is Blizzard will put these boundary walls in the game. Where the edge of the world is supposed to be. But what happens is they basically make it so that the end of the map lining is out here. So you can walk all on this gray area, but if you try to jump out in the water, you're going to get stuck in the wall. 
but they were pretty easy to get out of. You just fell rush or infernal strike out back into the ground if you're stuck, and it will get you out pretty simply. Sometimes it's not always the case though, so be careful how far you try to go out of the game. As you can tell, a lot of stuff is unloaded out here. It's mostly just green. This kind of reminds me of the old Emerald Dream out of bounds. In a way. I wonder if they used a lot of the texture for that in Pandaria with the grass. Now, I really wish we could mount up, but... Ground mounts are not allowed here, which is weird, because you're technically outside in the whole dungeon, too. I mean, you do go in parts of it, right? Like, in the building, but... A lot of it is outside, so I'm surprised they don't want you ride mount. <clears throat> You'd have think that uh, they would let you do that. And here's another edge of the world over here. That's a cool shot right there. I do love the skybox in this dungeon. It's very soothing. Now, by the way, just a heads up. If you guys do get stuck out here, I have tested my campfire. Um, and the pinch whistle potion to kill myself, just in case it, you know, I need to get back into the dungeon. It does not work. <laughs> I've tested it. I mean, maybe it just didn't work where I was, where I tried it, but I have tried it multiple occasions now, and for some reason it didn't work. Now, it looks like, I don't think we're going to be able to go up there unless we use Fell Rush, but I don't really want to have to go to each one, or maybe. Might work out easier than I thought. Let's do this. Actually, it might be worth switching to Fell Rush here. Because I think this mountain's going to get steeper and steeper. So yeah, let's switch to Havoc real quick so we can get up the mountain. I didn't want to go this way, but I don't want to walk all the way around. Keep wasting time here. As we can just use Fell Rush to get up the mountain here. Hmm. Do have our second charge. There we go. Now this is going to be really sad if we've got all this way up here and we actually can't make it up. Um... You know what? I think what we can do is jump out that way, glide, and then fell rush onto here, and then get over there that way, so I think we're okay. Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Never mind. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Alright, let's continue exploring here. You know, Pandaria has a whole vibe of its own. Right? Like, it's very peaceful. This is a creepy textured ground over here. Now this is a cool shot right here. You get a ground of the Shaw. <sighs> Something so cool about being a demon hunter and flying around in Pandaria outside the map. <laughs> really neat. By the way, I want to say thank you to everybody who's been watching and liking these videos, if you have made it this far into the video. Um, it means a lot that you guys are taking the time to like the video, comment, subscribe, and continue watching them. Um, we're almost to 4,000 subscribers. I can't believe that's real. <laughs> I never thought in my life I'd ever get to 4,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. 
So it's definitely a big milestone. And uh, we're just going to keep growing from there. I, I hope so. <laughs> definitely want to keep making ATN bigger. And keep providing you guys World of Warcraft the best content I can. A lot of you did vote, and uh, you did vote on the community page to for more classic or hardcore WoW content. So I'm definitely going to be working on that coming up, as I don't want to do all OOB. Because there is going to be only so much OOB I can show you. Now look at this. You do got like a pink, purple texture ground here. And a little bit of orange over here as well. Hmm. We do got another edge of the world here. And some of the jade forest is still there with all the trees. Now I gotta admit, this was a long dungeon to walk through <laughs> without a ground mount, so thank you. If you've made it this far into the video for sticking with me i know it's a lot to cover and to see so i think we're kind of doing a full circle here i don't think there's too much more out here to see but let's go take a look this way. See if we can find anything. Oops, didn't mean to take a screenshot there. That was an accident. I'm going to shut up here a little bit and let you guys enjoy the music. There we go. We are coming across our first waterfall. So that's really neat to see. I haven't seen one of those yet in the game. In this map, I should say. Ooh, so they do keep a lot of the bamboo texture out here. Let's go take a look this way and see what we can find. Some of the trees are floating on nothing, as we can see here. Out here in the distance, to the right. And the lamps are still burning. Oh, we got a couple of bees going on out here. <laughs> That's cool. With the plantation. The wildlife. Wow, there's a lot out here more than I thought. They do keep a lot outside this dungeon, so. Oh, I think we're coming to the end here, guys. I don't think there's too much left to see. As you can tell, they do have a little bit of the Jade Forest out here. Oops. Let's head out this way. Ooh, 
Ooh. Thought it was gonna land, but let's go under the water here for a minute. Oh, no, that's cool. They do keep some of the underwater effect out here. Can we actually ride them out? No, we can't, unfortunately. That's really neat. Let's take a screenshot of that. That's kind of creepy looking. But all right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to end the video here. There's not too much left to see. It is cool that they do keep some of the water out here in the distance and you can kind of explore the underwater area. Thank you for tuning in to the Temple of the Jade Serpent. If you haven't checked out this dungeon, I definitely recommend you do. Really cool vibe out here on Pandaria. And uh, as always, my name is Nathan. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.